This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. In this video, we learn about order of operations. What is an operation? In math, operations are when we take two inputs and combine them using well-defined rules to get one output. The operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponentiation, and grouping. But when we see something like 3 plus 16 minus 4 squared times 3, what part should we calculate first? We can calculate the multiplication first, or we can go left to right, or maybe even right to left. And each way gives us a different answer to this problem, and only one of them is correct. That is why mathematicians came up with a set of rules to follow when doing calculations like these. They called it the order of operations. These rules tell us the order that we should do operations in. First, we should do parentheses, then exponents, and then multiplication and division left to right in the order that they come up in. And then same thing with addition and subtraction left to right. But how do we remember all these rules? PEMDAS. The P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, the MD stands for multiplication and division, and the AS stands for addition and subtraction, left to right. It's very important to note that divide and multiply rank equally, and they just go left to right in the order that they come up in, and add and subtract rank equally, and they just go left to right in the order that they come up in. Here is an explanation of PEMDAS. After completing the P part, we need to do all the E, then go left to right doing any M or D that we find in the way. Finally, we go left to right one last time doing any A or S that we find along the way. Another way to remember the order of operations. These sentences can help you remember the order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Popcorn every Monday, donuts always Sunday. And people everywhere make decisions about sums. Pick your favorite out of these three, or you can use PEMDAS. A fun fact. In the UK, bode moss is used instead, and in Canada, bed moss is used. They all mean the same thing. Let's look at an example. Simplify 4 plus 4 times 3. Pause the video for more time to solve this problem on your own. Remember, multiplication comes before addition. First we do 4 times 3 which gives us 12, and then 4 plus 12 which gives us 16. But how would you solve 4 plus 4 times 3 where the 4 plus 4 is in parentheses? So we do the parentheses first which gives us 4 plus 4, which is equal to 8, and then 8 times 3, which gives us our answer of 24. Let's look at another example. Simplify 12 divided by 6 times 3 divided by 2. Pause the video for more time on this problem. Multiplication and division rank equally, so we just go from left to right. The first thing is 12 divided by 6, which gives us 2, then 2 times 3, which is equal to 6, and finally 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Let's look at an example from real life. Let's look at a practical example. Joe buys two shirts at $8 each. He also buys a pair of jeans for $20 that gets a $3 discount. What is total cost? Pause the video for more time. Let's write this problem as an equation. We get two shirts plus the jeans minus discount, which is in parentheses. It gives us our total cost. Here are some problems for you to try. Don't forget to write your answers in the comments below.
Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you can get notifications for my future videos and be sure to hit that like button. See you in the next video.